Hey guys, Sean Zinn, the Connection Machine, aka the Insurance Doctor, and the host for the Network Marketing Insider Podcast. We are bringing value to you, each and every one of you that are starting a possible business online or having trials and tribulations of your own, and um, you know, not sure where to go. And there's not many, you know, opportunities that are giving massive mentorship or um, learning on the fly, a lot of people are doing. So I want to bring that value. I'm bringing people on that are in the businesses. I'm going to share what is working for them that wasn't working for them, that um, we could help each and every one of you. And one thing I want you to do is be an action taker and to actually take take some notes, jot ideas down and strategies. And if you use them, come back and drop a comment. Let us know what has happened with you on that front. A couple housekeeping. If you're watching live, drop a hashtag live. If you're on the replay, hashtag replay. And please drop emojis, your favorite emojis throughout the conversation. Before I bring on my guest, I want you guys to take a look at the got backup if you don't are not involved with got backup it's everyone has problems with their losing pictures and videos of loved ones you pay a lot of money to the big dogs this is a small business six terabytes you get for 9.97 a month guys six accounts you could have androids and iphones automatic backups you have military grade encryption my link is connection.gotbackuptour.com join today make sure you are taking advantage of this opportunity and there's lots of trainings and there's things that we can do to help you get to the next level. So let me bring on my next guest. His name is Matthew Hagee. What's up, man? How are you? Hey, guys. Good. How are you? Doing fantastic. I appreciate you taking some time out of your day to uh, you know provide some value with us. And uh, before we get into it, Matt, who are you and what kind of businesses are you involved in, Matt? Cool. So I've been a phys ed teacher for the past 26 years. I've coached many sports. Um, you know, but about eight years ago, you know, you know, I was married at the time and my, my wife at the time was a teacher too. You know, we're doing pretty well, but we just wanted more out of life. So um, I went searching for different businesses to start where I don't have to go back to school, um, where I can make more money, work when I want, whenever I want with whoever I want. And, um, and I found a business that, that did that for me and provided um, more than I could imagine. And um, that's kind of where I was in life. Life was good. You know, I had summers off and could do what I wanted, but I was just looking for more out of life. I wanted more, you know? I like this. And I'm jotting things down because I am an active listener. I like to, you know, really go deep. I know we might have a little delay, it seems like. But we will make through. We'll get through this. So bear with us, guys. If there is a delay, there's you know Matt might be hearing something down the road that I'm saying a few seconds later. He's a teacher. I'm a teacher. We make decent money. We have summers off. But I like how he said having more out of life. What do you mean about that, Matt? Yeah, good question. So I was coaching uh, cross country, which I loved, baseball, assistant athletic director, running a ski club. There were times I was missing my son's basketball games. I was missing my son's flag football games. I was the coach of just to make extra money so we could get them signed up for those extra things, you know, like baseball or flag football or basketball. Um, uh, but the things more out of life is I wanted to go on vacation. I wanted to go out, go to Mexico. I wanted to be home at 3.30, not 7 o'clock. I wanted to have my Saturdays off where I wasn't coaching so I can be with my kids. I wanted more time for my family. Um, I also wanted to start putting away for retirement so I could retire at a good age with, with a good, with a good backing. Um, I wanted to drive a safer car. You know, I wanted to be able to provide tutors for my kids. Um, I wanted to be able to go out to dinner when I was married at the time with my wife and not stress about money. You know, in my marriage, stress sometimes could have come from money. And uh, my whole life, I was financially stressed. For the first time in my life, I'm not, you know, and um, and, it's, and it was nice. It came from a lot of hard work. But those were the, the things I was looking for, vacations, better food, providing for my kids better opportunities, putting them in better environments, and just not being financially stressed um, when my family wanted or needed things. And, and to do extras like vacations. No, I love that. A lot of people, yes, that's the extras in life. Money we need and allows you to open doors to do other things that we weren't able to do when we we're younger. So when we have kids, we want to do those extras, go on the vacations, have the nice car. So I agree with you. Now, here's a question. Teachers say they work so hard. How do you fit time in with network marketing? 
Yeah. So, I mean, the basic answer is you fill it in the gaps of your day. So when I started this, um, I was listening to, and they provide you with education. So at the time I was married and my, my uh, wife at the time, I'm, I'm now divorced, but my wife at the time was like, Matt, can you help put the kids to bed? I'm like, I'm on a podcast, like, or I'm on a Zoom, I'm learning. So she's like, well, just help us. I'm like, I'm on this Zoom. Well, you know, within that year, we earned, I earned a trip to go to Costa Rica. When we came back from Costa Rica, the kids said, Daddy, come help me put to bed. Um, come help me go to bed. And at that time, my wife at the time said, Daddy's got learning to do. Daddy's got work because she saw the value I was bringing back to the to the family. Now, were there times I didn't help with the kids to bed? Not often because um, I learned how to schedule my time better. Um, but yeah, so I put it in the gaps of my day on the way to work. I was listening to trainings every day. Podcast Ed Milet. On the way home, I'd call my clients. And if there was a dead zone, I'd pull over to a gas station um, to make sure I could finish that phone call. Um, so I would, and there was times I'd stay up late to place my orders. I'd get up early to place orders. So whenever I had a gap in my day, instead of wasting it on Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok, um, which, which added, didn't waste, but anyway, so that's what I did. I filled in the gaps in my day. No, I agree with you. The time is there. We just, some people use it, abuse it. They don't do anything with it. But as you are a network marketer, you have the time to fill those gaps, learn, earn, and continuously be personally developing yourself. You know, Matt said he watching and listening to podcasts. I'm sure they're um, not really just educational, more motivational stuff that will help you get through those tough times. All right, let's be honest with people. We, we talk to people and we sign people up all day long. So easy constantly without any effort that's completely false it takes time there's a lot of no's so those podcasts help you from those no's and helps build your mindset how do you help those that are watching having those no's how do we keep them from not quitting yeah, I mean, every no is one step closer to a yes. When you were a baby, you fell 50,000 times and you just kept trying because you wanted it. So if you have a powerful why, you'll stay connected to it and you'll start seeing results. Um, network marketing is a personal growth vehicle tied to an income pay structure. So if you are working on personal growth and growing who you are and growing yourself as a person and listening to a podcast, um, those no's are not failures. They're just opportunities to get you to learn. So um, I did go into this to make money, but I went into it to make money to help people. And first, you have to grow yourself. Then you help people. Then the money comes. If you go in to make money and not help people and not help yourself, then you're not going to make money. So grow yourself. How can I help people? How can I serve others? And then if you're, you're, if you're in a right income structure and the company I joined has a great income structure, then you'll get paid. So, you know, to come, up, come at it from that effort from that angle i love that and it's important that people understand you grow you're helping others because the beautiful part with network marketing is you're leveraging other human beings it's not always you hustling from you know you have your nine to five this is you can leverage other action takers and actually make more money because you're taking advantage of and teaming up with other individuals that you're using their expertise to continue growing your businesses, which is a powerful thing that nobody really understands how beneficial and big businesses do that are involved with network marketing in affiliate marketing, um, multi-level marketing. People say, oh, you're in a pyramid scheme. It's not a pyramid scheme. Everything's a pyramid scheme in reality. If we think about it, we're all have a common goal, but if we're all working and growing ourselves and helping others, achieve more, we all help and earn more as well. So that was the thing that helped me. I was not um, skeptical, you know, because the people I went into it, I trusted. And I was like, what do I have to lose? Let me give it a try. It cost me $200 for me to sign up in my business. And I got an amazing return. So my lack of skepticism helped me. I was working with the people I trusted. Um, and, and I looked into the business and I really enjoyed it. So, you know, imagine I hoist, imagine somebody hoists me up to the next level. I now have to reach down and help help them back up into that next level. And that's kind of what network marketing is. Um, I'm going to grow so I can help you grow. And we're going to help each other grow. And if that's tied to a pay structure where you're helping people, then it's all about helping people and personal growth. And it's 
the, you know, the side effect is income. It's tied to an income pay, um, to, to, it's tied to a business model. Um, when it comes to multi-level marketing or people thinking it's a scheme, well, if they do, then, then don't do it. You know, then th- I'm not going to convince you. I don't right. want to convince you because it does take work. It does take effort. It's not a get rich, rich, quick scheme. Uh, you have to grow. You will get no's. You will fail. You're going to have self-doubts. That's anything you do in life. So if that's not for you, then, then stay where you're at. But if you're looking to learn and grow and change and bring your life, life to the next level, find one of these businesses that works. For, I found one that changed my life dramatically and profoundly, changed me as a person dramatically and profoundly, um, and put me on a different level of, of, of finances. You know, but, but that took work, effort, learning, failure, getting up early, going to bed late. So um, don't think it's going to be easy. You got to put some work in. You know, it's got to take some time. I'm glad you said that as far as the amount of money you had to put into starting your business. 200 bucks, some are 100 bucks, some are free. You took it upon yourself to not be skeptical, which a lot of people are. You took it upon yourself of if somebody, a friend of yours, shared an idea or an opportunity, you were an action taker. You just took action. One thing that people have to understand, some things cost a little bit of money. Otherwise, it's going to take time. So if it's free, you're going to take all your time. If it costs a little money, it's going to be a little bit more, less of your time. But you still got to do, as Matt was saying, work the business and treat it as a business. This is not like a pizza shop. It's not like a barber shop. It's not like a real estate company. You might have to put a lot of money into this, get it started. Network marketing can get started as, as little as free, a couple hundred bucks, and you get into it. And you get into what you put into it as well. So I appreciate you sharing that because a lot of people think, Oh, I'm not going to get, I'm going to spend 200 bucks. I'm going to make a million dollars tomorrow. You could, but it takes time. And that's people that want, they don't realize what, how powerful this could be for them. Yeah. So your cell phone is more powerful than all any computer ever built during world war II. Um, We have the opportunity to connect to people all over the world, all over the country and help people. We have this powerful tool. My cell phone does cost me nothing. I built my business with my cell phone, Facebook, Instagram. I learned with Facebook, Instagram, um, you know, podcasts. We have an incredible opportunity to help people and connect to people and add value to people's lives with this technology. Technology can be a bad thing, but it could also be used for good. Um, and I was like, well, what can I do to leverage my time? And that's what I loved about this, this, this program that I got involved in. Now, what have you heard? A lot of people say, oh, you're going to just copy and paste stuff and send it to me and and harass me until I say no. What are some ideas or tips or strategies that has worked for you? And then if you can give us something that did not work for you that you tried in the past. Yeah. So um, rejection leads to obsession. So when people say I'm not interested, I move on. If I have to convince you, it's not going to work. If I have to convince you, you're not going to do well, right? So my goal isn't to convince you. I just share. Here's how I help people on this on this side of the business. Here's how I help people on that side of the business. I'm not trying to convince you. If you're not interested, that's fine. Who's next in line? I don't. It's not going to work if I have to convince you. I want to know what you want and if if and how my tool could help you. Does that make sense? So that's one thing I learned is I'm not trying to convince you. Here's what I do. Do you want it or no? You know, like imagine you're selling people to mow their lawns and you're like, Hey, um, I mow lawns. People are like, I need my lawns mowed. Okay. Well, that I can help you, but I'm not going to go offer that service to somebody who doesn't have lawns, you know, or waste <laughs> each other's time. Yep. It's so true. What was that? You said rejection is. So rejection leads to obsession, right? So like I had somebody reach out to me on, Inst- on uh, Facebook the other day. I told them what I do. And then she's like, okay, I'm not interested. I said, okay, that's good. If when you're ready, let me know. Well, two minutes later, another message, another message, another message. And you know what? I haven't reached back to her. You know why? Because she's watching me on Facebook. She's watching me on Instagram. She's watching me on TikTok. And if she's not, that's fine too. But I'm not going to waste my time trying to convince you because that's annoying to you. It doesn't get anywhere. I'm like, look, I, when you're ready, let me know. If you want me to help you, I could help you. I have a tool. I've got knowledge. I've got skills. I've got the, the, the proof. So yeah, rejection leads to obsession. You know, sometimes people are like dogs. If you run after them, they run away from you. If you run away from them, they're going to chase you. You know? I like that. And I know a lot of people are going to say, 
Well, what do, what do you do on Instagram? What do you do on Facebook that you'll get that message from somebody? Do you just continuously send posts out or is there any system that you have that you has worked for you? Yeah. So um, I post what I'm passionate about. Um, I also try to add value to people, you know, so, you know, Gary Vanderchuk would call it jab, 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 left hook. You yeah. know, so like here's ex people are like, what exercises do you do? Here's the exercises I do. Here's how I work out. Here's my diet. I'm not trying to sell you anything, but I'm passionate about diet. I'm passionate about exercise. I'm passionate about snowboarding. I'm passionate about surfing. I'm passionate about my vacations. So, and that's fun for me on social media. I'm me. And if you like me, follow me. And if you don't unfollow me, you know, I love rejection because it really helps me not have to try to convince you. Yeah. You know, so be you post what you're passionate about and add value to people's lives. If I'm adding value to your life, I've had people lose over a hundred pounds just by following me on social media. They never signed up for my program. They never worked with me. I just inspired them. So post what you're passionate about. Be you. There's 9 billion people in the world. Not all of them are going to love you. And the ones that don't great, because then you don't have to be somebody else. And the people that love you for being you, you're surrounded by people who love you for being you. So be you and you're, you're going to get people. Oh, you post too much on social media. You're obnoxious. You're annoying. Well, if you weren't okay. watching me, if you yeah. weren't watching me, it wouldn't be in your feed. It's true. Now, what what is the next vacation Matthew Hagee's going on for the money you're making from your network marketing? Yeah, so um, we've got uh, Cyprus. Last year I went to Cyprus with my girlfriend. Um, that might be Greece. Um, I've got a, a trip lined up to go to Maine um, where we're going to drive to um, hike Mount Katahdin. Then we're going to take a float plane from one part of Maine and take my, my kids. <clears throat> and that float plane is going to land in. We're going to um, uh, camp out for a couple days. Um, so those are those are two vacations. Um, last year I went heli skiing. Um, we took a helicopter, oh. flew us throughout the mountains in British Columbia. And... Um, you know, it's just something I've always wanted to do. I did that with a group, group of friends. Um, so, you know, I, I think sometimes in network marketing, we say like, look, if you join this program, you could live this lifestyle. Well, y you can if you put the work, if you put the effort, if you fail and fail and fail and learn from your failures and grow. So don't think I'm going to sign up for network marketing and be able to, to go heli skiing or be able to go to Cyprus or be able to go to Greece. There was a lot of failure. There was a lot of people telling me I was obnoxious on social media, you know, um, and telling me I was doing the wrong thing. But I was confident enough in myself <clears throat> that I knew what I was doing was right. And I had a lot of people finding success from my program, finding success from working with me. But yeah, the extra money has helped uh, me put some money away for retirement. It's helped me go on vacations. Um, I recently, two years ago, went through a, a tragic experience in my life um, where, it, where it hurt me financially. Um, but I was able to recover very quickly because I was involved in um, a second job. We need to have funnels of income today to live. And a lot of people don't realize that. And there are skills that you have to learn to be successful in network marketing. One, presenting. Two, having the ability to sell something. Promoting, you know, marketing. You have to, things that you're going to learn. And like Matt, Matt said early on, there's trainings that are provided by most companies to help you be successful because if you're successful, they're going to be successful. So it's important to do that. How important is video for your overall business? Yeah. So um, your eyes convey trust. So when you when people can see you talking and hear your voice inflection, um, you're going to convey trust. So there's the speed of trust. Once people can um, like you, and trust you, they're more likely to, likely to buy something from you. So for me, it's important. Um, people think, well, I don't want to sell. I'm like, okay, do your kids brush their teeth? Yeah, they do. Do your kids do their homework? Yeah, they do. Um, well, you sold your children that brushing their teeth is important to them. You sold your children that, um, you know, uh, getting good grades is important to them. You're always selling something. A history teacher sells the importance of history. The English teacher sells the importance of conjugating verbs. You, every job you're selling something, find something you're passionate about, find something you believe in, find something that will add value to people's lives, and then you can find a sustainable business and you have no, no problem 
posting what you're passionate about. Giving value is key. Not all the businesses, you're going to be able to be successful. There are going to be some that you might join that you're going to learn. Be like, this is not for me. Maybe the product doesn't work for you and your lifestyle and what you're doing. And what you have to do is actually reflect, think about it, make a decision. Because, But I believe no matter what business you go into, you're, and if it fails, it doesn't go to what you thought it was, the expectations. You still had an ability to learn something from that experience. So take that for your next one. Because not all of them are going to be successful. You might go through a couple companies and then boom. You hit it on the head, now you're crushing it. But you won't have that vacation, the car, the house that everyone puts on social media saying it's so easy to do. It's not. It takes work and being consistent. Yeah, so I've run a painting company, not successfully. I've run a landscaping company, not successfully. I've um, put together uh, other, you know, I've, I've coached sports, which I got paid for and was successful at that. But I wasn't providing the income that I was hoping for. I got paid well. I'm happy with what I got paid. But, you know, I probably had 20 different failures before I found this company of trying to make money, you know, um, and, and making money not to be greedy, but making money so I could drive a safer car, eat better foods, go on better vacations, retire. Um, money is not greed. Money provides you freedom of time. I'm at work right now. I love teaching. I love it. But I'm here because I need the money. If I wasn't, the only thing that's preventing me from skiing in powder in Japan right now is money. And I need to be here to make that money. So if I could make enough money and save enough money, um, then hopefully my money can work for me and I could make money off of my money. So money's not greed. Um, money is just a tool to help us um, have more freedom of time earlier. I'd rather retire at 55 than at 65. And if I plan it right when I'm young, then I think I'll be able to. No, I totally agree with you. And having the ability to retire early, have the good things is very powerful. And it's something that um, we're not saying it's easy. It's going to take some time. It's going to be, you know, lots of failure here and there. We're here to help you and we're here to connect. We want to have conversations. So if you are in the world of network marketing and you, you have, something's resonating from what we're having a conversation about today, reach out to us. We're going to have Matt's information is all in the description like mine as well. We're here just to continue growing and helping other individuals. Make the money is a byproduct of helping more. So the more opportunities we get to get in front of people, the, the more power we can have over our lifestyles as well. So it's something that I, I hope that everyone tries it, you know, and, and gives it at least six months. Give whatever you're trying at least six months, see if it will work. It's not always going to be the company. It could be probably you got to look in the mirror. A lot of times people don't want to do that. They're afraid. Is there any final thoughts, Matt, that you can share with those that are watching? Yeah. So Sean and I are both teachers. We drive into work every day and we think, how can I help people? A lot of businesses, you drive into work and think, how can I make money? How can I make money? But our job every day, we think, how can I help people? And when we drive home, we think, how did I impact people? So I'm involved in a business where I want something for you. I don't want something from you. And it's a win, win, win. It's a symbiotic relationship. If I help you, you help me. So there's the, the feeder fish that gets the plankton out of the great white's gills. And the great white's like, thank you. I'm not going to eat you. And the plankton, the feeder fish is like, well, thanks for letting me eat your plankton. The feeder fish wins and the great, great white wins. So we want a symbiotic relationship, not a parasitic relationship. I want something for you. I don't want to go out this wanting something from you. However, I do want to get benefits from our relationship, and I want you to get benefits from the relationship too, because then you can have a sustainable business where it continues to grow. It's not a get-rich-quick scheme. It's not a fad. Um, it's something where we, where we help people learn, grow, and change together, and it's fun. Well said, man. I appreciate knowing you. I appreciate the knowledge and the value that you brought to us today. We hope that everyone will uh, share this video. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, hit that like button. But give this video to somebody we can help. That's the goal is the more people we can help, the more we all can help and grow our, ourselves. So, uh, Matt, I appreciate you coming on today. I uh, Stick with me for a, a moment after. And uh, we hope that you all have an amazing rest of your day. Thanks, Sean.